Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to do another episode of Face Off Friday, except instead of doing three blaster boxes and pitting them against each other like we have been doing, today I'm going to expand that to four because I'm going to do series one from the last four years. We're going to do 2017, 18, 19, and the brand new 2020 and see which box ends up being the best. So what I do is I open up the box and then I go through all the cards and I pick out the top five cards from each box and we see basically which box wins. So we're going to start with 2017 series one featuring Chris Bryant on the front. And Chris Bryant was in the news the other day because it looks like he is now going to be a leadoff hitter for the Cubs, which is kind of interesting. Chris Bryant is uh, a, kind of like an on-base machine with his 389 career batting or on-base percentage or so. So he does get on base. Now that the game is changing, sometimes these big boppers will go at the top of the lineup. And we have Tyler Glass now rookie card off the very top. I like that one a lot. So what I do is I pick out the top five cards. And as I go through, I have a maybe pile for cards that I think might make my top five. And that Tyler Glass now is definitely in my top five. We also have this. We might as well get this out of the way. It's a manufactured patch card. It's a Bryce Harper, Jackie Robinson, the 70th anniversary. Pretty cool card there. Not a big fan of manufactured patches, but I do love the 2020 Top Series 1. By the way, I always pick which one I think is going to win. Today, I am going to pick 2017 Tops as my winner before we get too far into it as giving me the most bang for my buck. And there's one reason why. There's some good rookies in there. Yon Moncada rookie card to go with the Tyler Glass. Now also looking for Aaron Judge and Alex Bregman. There's Jordan Zimmerman gold card out of 2017. Sonny Gray back with the Athletics. Now he's part of that Cincinnati Reds rotation, which might actually be the best rotation in the National League Central. The Pakota projections came out the other day, and they are picking the Reds to win 86 games and win the NL Central. There's then now Steven Strasburg. That's not number. Johnny Cueto, 1987 design is pretty cool. like that one a lot. Rajai Davis, famous for his home run there that almost helped the Indians win the World Series back in Game 7. Um, a few years ago, there's Clayton Kershaw. A Hannes Wagner legend card. That's pretty cool. Old Pirates logo on that one. It's not numbered, though. I'm not going to take that one out and put that aside. Miguel Cabrera, Jackie Robinson Day card. David Ortiz, who made his um, thoughts about the Astros scandal known. He was more unhappy with Mike Fires than anything else. Said Fires kind of broke the bro code and uh, kind of said, if you really had a problem with it, you should have said something while it was going on instead of waiting till later. There's Aaron Judge, five tool card. That's kind of a cool one. John Smoltz, Reggie Jackson, rookie card reprint. I like those reprints, even if their reprints are still still kind of cool to me. Paul and Orlando and Carlos Correa is the last one there. So still no Judge or Bregman rookie card out of this Series 1 pack, but we will keep trying. There's 10 packs in this box, and um, with 10 cards per pack, plus that... Um, Manufactured patch, 101 total cards all together in this 2017 Series 1. Moving on to our next pack. We've got Jacoby Ellsbury on the front there. Don't know how much more we'll see of him in the big leagues. There's Addison Russell, future star card. And a buyback, 1988 tops. Jerry Mumphrey, kind of cool, depending on the color of the foil there on the card. It could be worth a little bit more, but... Um, I'm going to put in the maybe pile. I'll decide here at the end of each round, and I'll lay them out on the screen. You can agree or disagree with me. Let me know in the comments. So far, I've not yet found any short prints that I recognize from 2017. Dansby Swanson rookie card. I'm putting that in my maybe pile. we got two packs left. And then we'll move on to 2018, 2019, and then we'll finish this face-off Friday with that blaster box of 2020 tops, which just keeps on growing on me. I got my tins in. Uh, this is a brand new product. We'll be opening these soon on the channel. A bunch of these tins, which is new. You get a nice commemorative tin after you're done with opening up your cards. Instead of throwing the box away, you have a tin to, I don't know what you want to do with it. Keep your cards in, keep some change in or whatever. 
It's Kenley Jansen, Eric Hosmer, and so we didn't get any of the good rookie cards. I'm kind of disappointed on that. I mean, we got some rookies, but I was really hoping for Judge or possibly um, Bregman. So what am I going to go with for my top cards? That's what I'm doing right now. I'm going to go with... Um, I'm going to that rediscover tops. I'm going to put that probably number five, even though it's like usually a five cent card. I'm not sure what the red stamping means. Number four, I'm going to go with Dansby Swanson. Then I'm going to go with Mike Trout, number three. I'm going to go with Tyler Glass now, number two. And number one, Jan Mankata, who had a great season last year. And uh, the White Sox, if they make a run at that division and he has another big year, expect him to get some MVP votes. So that's the first line. First box is done. Um, I don't know. Grand total might have got $6 of value out of that box, maybe, if I had to just put a number on it. All right, here's box number two. It's 2018 Series 1. And this was on clearance at my local Walmart. You probably see these at your local Walmart, too. Uh, for some reason, it seems like there was a ton of 2018 Series 1 produced. And they're still showing up. Every time they stock the shelves at my local Walmart, there's always these boxes hanging around. So this box cost me about 15 bucks uh, as it was on clearance. So the best rookie card we could find out of here, if I'm not mistaken, is Walker Bueller. But... We shall see. Here's some coupons, which are now expired. We have a manufactured patch from the commemorative weekend. We'll open that in a moment. But for now, let's start ripping through 2018 Series 1. So it's all Series 1. That's the common thread of this face-off Friday. There's an Ichiro 83 tops card, an Aaron Judge opening day. Ian Happ, future star card. He um, kind of is taking a step back a little bit, unfortunately been bouncing back and forth between the majors and minors after coming up a couple years ago and impressing so here we go on to pack number two there's john carlos stanton who by the way his comments were pretty interesting on the whole astros cheating scandal he said if i knew what was coming a few years ago the his mvp year with the marlins when he hit 59 home runs he said he would have hit 80 home runs so count john carlos stanton among the disgruntled players with the astros um, that whole situation. We got Nolan Arenado. That is a third, what's it? Memorial Day card, I guess. Uh, Chris Bryant. There is Chris Davis, who had a down year last year. Batting champ Tim Anderson, Jed Jerko, Matt Barnes, and CC Sabathia, the recently retired CC Sabathia, and probable future Hall of Famer. His numbers are pretty in line with Mike Mussina, so. He'll probably get in. Maybe not first ballot, but we'll see. There's a Greg Allen rookie card. we got a gold card. It's Logan Forsythe. There's always a little bit of value to those no matter what. Chris Sale, legends in the making. We'll have to see if he can bounce back from his injury. And Zach Wheeler, who's now on the Phillies. We'll see if the Phillies can turn him into something really good, take him to the next level. Zach Wheeler with a $100-plus million contract. Frankie Lindor. I like Frankie Lindor a lot, so I'm putting that in my maybe pile. And then we have... Cody Bellinger Gold Cup card, Ozzy Albies rookie card. So right now, um, I don't know, this box is looking like it might go out ahead of 2017 already. We're only halfway through this blaster. Hope everybody is having a great Friday, and hopefully you have some nice plans for this weekend. Maybe you'll pick up yourself some Topps tins from 2019. There's Yon Mankata, Superstar Sensations, some more Chris Bryant cards. There's a nice Marcel Ozuna making a catch out there at Marlins Park going up there against the wall. Actually looking good doing it that time. I don't know if you saw the highlight where Marcel Ozuna tried to rob a home run and he went up on the wall. And it wasn't even a home run. It was just a uh, deep fly ball that ended up landing on the uh, warning track. And he looked really stupid on it. Um, you'll have to check that one out. Just check, I, I guess, search Marcel Ozuna blooper, and it'll come up. There's Walker Bueller rookie card. That's going to be one of my favorites for sure. I'm a big Walker Bueller fan. And anytime I see his rookie cards out and about, I will pick them up if they are a good deal. Next pack, as we have two packs left after this one, Avisiel Garcia, Nolan Arnado. There's tons of Chris Bryant cards in this video, it seems like. Probably already pulled at least three or four of him. We're down to two packs left, and we have that exclusive Players Weekend. Um, 
manufactured patch as well coming up shortly. Charlie Blackman, there's Wade Boggs, 83 Tops Design. I like how Tops does that, puts those. Um, there's a World Series card there, George Springer. And then we've got Edwin Diaz and Antonio Senzatella as the last one. But anyway, yeah, I like how Topps throws it back to that 35-year special anniversary set. They did 83 Tops two years ago, 84 Tops last year, 85 Tops this year. I like how they do that. Brings back very fond memories of collecting my childhood. There's Frankie Lindor, Eric Hosmer, Nick Williams, Stephen Piscotti, and Marwin Gonzalez. Let's do this Players Weekend patch. And it is a Kyle Seeger. Never a big fan of the patches. Some of you might be thinking, are you crazy? You didn't put the Bryce Harper commemorative Jackie Robinson patch in your top five. And maybe I am crazy. I don't know. Just not a big fan of those particular patches. So Walker Bueller is number one for me by far. Number two, I'm going to go with the uh, Aussie Albies rookie card 83 design. I like that one a lot. Then after that, I'm going to have to go with, it's close, but I'm going to go with Bellinger Future Star Gold Cup card. These are my uh, finalists, by the way. And then I'm going to go with um, I'll go with Frankie Lindor because I love Frankie Lindor. And my last card, I'm going to go with Logan Forsythe Gold because there is a little bit of value in those gold cards. And um, I'll never turn down getting one of those in a blaster. So the second line is done for me right now. I would put 2018 ahead of 2017 by a hair. So now we move on to 2019 with Aaron Judge on the front. Let's see if I can get this one opened up. Forgot my scissors upstairs, so I'm just going to use the screwdriver to start it off here. Hopefully I didn't, don't knock the camera over doing so. Got a different setup today. With had to raise my camera up a little bit because I couldn't fit four uh, rows of cards on the screen. So I have some extra commons of 89 Fleer. Um, as my pillars for my tripod to raise it up just a tad. All right, so here we go. 2019 Top Series 1. Out of the four boxes you saw on the screen, this is probably, no offense to those of you that love this set, but probably my least favorite. You can obviously agree or disagree. But here we go. So looking for our top five. I'm just going to start picking out the cards that I would put down as possible um, candidates there in that first pack. Really didn't see too much whatsoever, unfortunately. Moving on to pack number two. So in 2019, they changed the format of the blaster boxes. Gave you a couple less cards. Instead of 10 packs, there's Brad Keller rookie card. They give you a seven, but they upped the cards. 14 cards instead of um, 10 cards per pack. So there's an Altuve Grapefruit League cards. And then we got Home Run Challenge with Mike Trout. Got to put that Trout card aside, Austin Hedges, and Hunter Strickland, no friend to Bryce Harper. Hunter Strickland versus Bryce Harper. Look that up on YouTube if you'd like to see a nice little skirmish. All right, here's our next pack, Jonathan VR. Speedy guy, Frankie Lindor. Been seeing a few of his cards. So I'm going to put that one aside. And then we got Gary Sanchez. There's our first 84 design. It would have been cool if that was a triple autograph. It's just kind of, you know, letting people know about the tops now. And Mitch Hanniger, who's been oft injured. He's going to be coming back again from another injury this year. Hopefully he makes it back. He was good a couple years ago for the Mariners. They're going to be counting on him. Trevor Bauer. I like Trevor Bauer a lot. So I might even put that in my maybe pile because I do like Trevor Bauer. There's Steven Duggar, Andrew Heaney, Miggy Sano. We have a Sandy Koufax, a grapefruit league great. Harrison Bader, Gold Cup card. Kirby Yates, who... Kind of made a name for himself as a closer last year. One of the best closers around. Then Josh Hader, who lost his arbitration case recently. And David Bote, or Bote, depending on how you like to pronounce his name. So, uh, two packs left after this one. Corey Kluber, now of the Rangers Justice Sheffield rookie card. I feel like I have tons of Justice Sheffield rookie cards. It seems like there's a Justice Sheffield rookie card in every release last year. Clayton Richer, like including every series, like one of his Yankees, one of his Mariners, Derek Dietrich, Wade Davis, Luis Orias, who's now kind of, uh, I don't know, maybe a bench player for the Brew Crew, I do believe, and Yadier Molina, future Hall of Famer Yadier Molina. So struggling right now for the maybe pile. Not looking good for 2019 Top Series 1. Maybe we'll find a Michael Kopech or Jeff McNeil to make the list. 
Here's our next pack. Zach Cozart, Javi Baez, Jackie Bradley Jr., JBJ. Then there's a bring it in card with Javi Baez with the 150 stamp on it. Kyle Ripken, I'll put that in the movie pile just because it's Kyle Ripken. And he was one of my favorite players growing up. Jonathan Scope is the last one there. And this is our last pack besides that manufactured pack that we have to bust open. Ronald Acuna Jr. Gold Cup card. I'll put that one aside for sure. Card number one of the set. I'm also going to throw this Brandon Lau card aside in the good pile. And Joe Jimenez in the good pile. Gold card. Javi Baez. There's the Altuve. And that is it. So let's do this one before I make my picks for my top five. It's a Manny Machado 150 professional years not a big fan of those so number one this might be a little bit tough for me oh you guys all probably have your different thoughts on this one but i'm gonna go with acuna jr is the number one card that came out of that box value wise and then i do like rookies so i'm going to probably put those over anything else in here i'm gonna go with brandon lau second I'm going to go with Sheffield third. I'll go with the gold card four. And I'm going to go with the, probably the gold, I don't know if I should go with, I don't know if that trout's worth anything anyway. The Herman Challenge is now expired. I'll go with the gold stamped 150 years of baseball as my fifth and final card. So those are the top five. Uh, again, I got to say 2018 tops is slightly ahead. But we finish it off with 2020 tops, a brand new I uh, released it just came out this month let's get this opened up and i'm excited for this because i really like this little subset here these manufactured cards in here yeah i actually said i like manufactured cards for the first time ever because tops reprinted all of these players rookie cards and made them into um, basically manufactured relics so it's pretty cool the front of the card is a picture of their rookie card so we will be opening that up and guaranteed for sure that is going to be in my top five. So obviously some coupons just fell out and just messed up my rows there. Put those aside. I keep forgetting to use those. I should have used those to buy this box, but I forgot. Maybe I'll use them for Heritage, which comes out next week. So here we go. Seven packs. Thank you once again for being here, everybody. 2020 tops right now. It's James Tyone. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button. I would really much appreciate it. And if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button. would love to have you around for more of these videos. There's Bobby Bradley rookie card. I am looking for a Gavin Lux rookie or maybe a Jordan Alvarez would be nice. Dustin May, I would take. Hey, we got a short print. Frankie Lindor. How about that one? So I can, I'm just going to put that number one. Short print, red carpet, all-star card, Frankie Lindor. So that pretty much wins it for 2020 tops already. I don't think um, the others are going to be able to compete with that. But we'll still finish out the exercise. There's Walker Bueller, Turkey Red card. Pretty cool. Brian Anderson and Mike Moustakis. So this is also kind of a, an interesting look about how Topps has evolved in their blaster offerings over the past four years. Um, the amount of packs has changed. The amount of cards per pack has changed. The relics have changed. And the designs obviously have changed. I really hated, I didn't want to say I hated, but I wasn't a fan of these designs when I first saw them just because I'm not a big fan of the vertical names, kind of uh, disorienting to read, but it's grown on me. Every time I open 2020 Tops, it grows on me a little more, and um, this is my favorite out of all these. How about this? Jordan Alvarez, Turkey Red rookie card. So that one is obviously going to be number two. This box has already surpassed all other three combined for value which is awesome. Glad about that a lot. So two packs in, already pulled two nice cards, and we still have some more to go. All right, we got Jake Lamb, and there's Luke Jackson, Christian Yelich League Leaders card, Paul Goldschmidt, J.P. Crawford, Kevin Pillar. Then we have a Reese Hoskins, who is being heavily promoted by Tops this year. Uh, we have a nice uh, Walker Bueller Tops Chrome Turkey Red. That's probably going to be number three. I would say Ramirez Turkey Red, Daniel Palka, and Ian Kinsler is the last one there. So really happy with this blaster box that I picked up today. 
at my local Walmart. There's Starling Marte leading things off. Brandon Crawford, Austin Meadows, who I'm a big fan of Meadows, so I'm putting him in the maybe pile just in case I need a fifth spot player. We got Kyle Lewis rookie card. That's not too shabby. I'll put that over there. Bubba Starling toiled in the minor leagues for years and years. How about Bo Bichette, decades next? So a Bo Bichette rookie goes in my maybe pile. It's going to be in my top five, obviously, for sure. Just um, depending on if I want to put that ahead of um, that Chrome Bueller or not. I probably will. All right, here's our next pack. Finding good stuff in every pack from 2020 Tops. Scott Kingery, nice picture there. Then we got, uh, who else? Brendan McKay rookie card. I'll take that one. He's kind of like Shoyo Tani Light because he is a hitter and a pitcher, but not quite as widely known as um, Shohei. There's Marwan Gonzalez. We got two of them back-to-back. -back. One's a rainbow. I'll put the rainbow there. And speaking of Shohei, there's his turkey red. And then we got Christian Vasquez and Blake Trinan as our last two. So we're down to two packs left. And then we have that rookie um, rookie manufactured card that we got to take a look at here. Luis Castillo, who will someday be a Cy Young Award winner, mark my words, part of that awesome Reds rotation that I previously mentioned earlier in the video. Another Shohei Otani card, Buster Posey. Jack Flaherty, who's... Going to be a good one for many years for the Cardinals. Fernando Tatis Jr., 85, and Pete Alonso. Those are both going in my good pile. Turkey Red Pete Alonso, Luke Voigt, and Nick Markakis, who said every single one of the Astros deserves a beating for what they uh, did in 2017. That was his on-the-record quote, which I found interesting. Matt Carpenter, then we have Anthony K rookie card. Alex Verdugo, newest member of the Red Sox. And there's a Nick Senzel. We'll have to see if he gets traded. The Reds have a crowded outfield out there. Eloy Jimenez. We have a Bryce Harper home run challenge card, which is pretty nice. Raphael Devers, Turkey Red, and a Mike Trout base card. So 2020 tops absolutely killed the other three combined for me. We still have this to do. It's the manufactured rookie card retrospective release, which I love these. Um, I actually don't mind buying blaster boxes at all because of these. And how about that? There's a 1985 Topps Roger Clemens rookie card, which was a card I used to be all about as a kid. And you can see the manufactured relic. You get a, a commemorative medallion inserted in the card. Really cool. I, I That's obviously going to be my top five. So now I have the task of determining which cards to – Put in the final three spots. Bueller probably. The Chrome version of Bueller. The Clemens definitely. Trout is a maybe. Oh boy, this is going to be tough. Bo Bichette's going to. Sorry, sorry to Brendan McKay and Kyle Lewis. You, you guys are worthy of probably being in there along with the Tatis and Alonzo, but I could probably literally do a top 10 for that. I'm going to go with probably Bo Bichette, three. Roger Clemens, four. And Walker Bueller Chrome 5. Really, really nice stuff coming out of 2020 Tops. So that was a no doubt winner for me. Let me know what you think about which one was the best out of those four blasters from this episode of Face Off Friday. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Just let me know in the comments section. Let me know if you had better luck with 2020 Top Series, one that you remember in recent releases. I really feel like I have. So I'm going to keep buying 2020 Top Series 1 and. Pretty soon, maybe tomorrow, we'll be opening up some of these bad boys, the brand new 2020 Tops tins, which have some exclusive cards in it. There's 75 cards and also some exclusive cards that you can only get in these tins. So really looking forward to opening these uh, very soon on the channel. Maybe tomorrow, maybe Sunday, we shall see. So thank you so much for watching, everybody. Again, make sure you hit the thumbs up button. And if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button. We'd love to have you back for more of these types of videos. I hope you have a great weekend and I will see you all tomorrow. Good night, everybody.